Cause I'm gonna wink around Cause I'm gonna tell it to you Good God Rhythm and blues No so this you could never refuse Tell about it A message to you Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fusik and today we'll be making fresh pasta for pasta aillo e olio. Start by adding olive oil and salt in a bowl that contains 3 eggs and whisk until everything is well incorporated. Once whisking is done, continue by adding your flour in a large bowl. Using a glass, make a well of flour within the bowl and pour the egg mixture in 3 parts. After the first part has been added, whisk the egg mixture along with the flour and as it becomes harder to whisk, pour in the rest of the mixture and do this until all the mixture has been used. Continue to do this until a rough dough forms. After forming a rough dough, lay it onto your work surface, dust your hands with flour and start kneading. Add more flour if the dough seems wet and sticky or add more olive oil or few drops of water if the dough seems dry. We will knead the dough for 10 minutes straight as it will develop gluten and this will give the pasta its elasticity. Once kneaded, we will fold the dough from all sides towards the center and form a ball and wrap in cling film then we let it rest in the fridge for 20 minutes. Now, people assume that you need a whole lot of equipment to make pasta, whereas all you need is a very sharp knife, a long scale, a rolling pin and extra flour for dusting. Start by dusting your surface, hands and rolling pin with flour and proceed by dividing the dough in half. Once divided, knead for a minute and form into a rough rectangle. Once formed, fold from the sides towards the center, turn on the other side and start rolling. After this stage, keep dusting with flour and rolling equally from all sides. The dough should be rolled out as thin as the scale or till at a point where you can almost see your fingers through it. Once rolled out, trim the edges using the scale and the knife. Then flour on the upper side, flip and then proceed to flour that side as well. Once the entire surface is dusted with flour, fold the top half till the center, the bottom half till the top and then finally one last fold from the top to the bottom. Then use a very sharp knife or a serrated edge knife to cut the pasta in any form or thickness you desire. I'm going for a nice and flat fettuccine. Once cut out, flour the top and bring it together using your hands from both sides. As you can see, we are left with these amazing noodles right at the comfort of your own house. For cooking the pasta, we are adding a generous amount of salt in a pot of boiling water along with some olive oil. As it is fresh pasta, it takes only 2-4 to four minutes to cook. So once it is cooked, drain the excess water and toss in a little oil to avoid stickage. Then for making our aglio e olio sauce, place a pan on low heat and add the olive oil. Let the oil heat up for 2 to 3 minutes and then add the garlic and cook on low heat for 10 minutes. We do this to infuse the oil with the flavor of garlic and in the last minute of cooking increase the heat to high to make the garlic crispy. After the garlic has been browned, turn the heat to medium-low, then add the salt and chili flakes. 
Then proceed by adding the pasta and make sure that the noodles are well coated in that delicious garlic chili oil. Finally, add the blitzed or chopped parsley and toss one last time. Then serve in a bowl of your choice, garnish with some black pepper and few drops of lemon juice and mix with the fork before eating.